Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to another episode of Barbershop Talk Radio. I am your host, Young Slim. And I'm Kim. And today is Mischief Night, October 30th, 2023, Monday. And we are going to talk about the All-Star Touch Football League and... um, the results from this past week. Actually, it's, yeah, I guess it's week eight um, uh, today. Uh, but before I get into that, uh, I want to applaud the Philadelphia Eagles for beating the Washington Commanders. It looked a little shaky. It looked a little scary. It looked a little sloppy. I still don't know what actually happened in that game. But somehow we won. Uh, shout out to AJ Brown and Jalen Hurts. Let, let's applaud them. <laughs> now, I, I just, <clears throat> I just don't. Oh shit! My bad. I just don't understand exactly what actually happened in that game. Uh, oh, that's the, uh, the results. You put it up there already? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Um, excuse me. I, I don't know what happened. The weirdest, sloppiest game I think that I've... But also explosive at the same time. I, I, I just... I don't know what that was. Like, Jalen Hurts... Fumbling on the one. Game well. Fumbling in the red zone. It's like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I I just don't get it. Our bread and butter play stopped because of a fumble at the one-yard line in the game we're losing by double digits. Huh? 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 So, we just had a lot of ups and downs. A.J. Brown just shows that he is a top three, top two. Only person you can, only person you can put it, throw in my face that you would say is more explosive and dominant is Tariq Hill at the receiver position right now. Um, I don't care. No Justin Jefferson. Nothing. No. A.J. Brown is that guy. Now, he does get under my skin with some of his antics. You know, I I just be like, yeah, won't you act like you've been there before, bro? Like standing up and flexing on the corners and acting foolish like you don't know, like you've never been there before. Yeah, you catch a 10-yard pass. Ah, get out of my face, cornerback. Like, come on, dude. You're going to get us a flag, first of all, unsportsmanlike unnecessary and come on it's not worth it but he could have flexed on those guys this week uh let's applaud aj brown and jalen hurts and jalen hurts oh god here we go here we go here we go with your shenanigans here they just played against washington Dallas is playing good lately. Dallas played okay against the Rams. Dallas has been playing okay. No, they haven't. They just got their teeth kicked in by the 49ers two weeks ago. I think if the Eagles go out there and play like they played yesterday against Dallas, they're going to lose. Okay. I- I'm not going to disagree with that. I mean, our defense was awful. So was our offense, too. Like I said, they no, no, our offense wasn't. On the one-yard line twice. That That's just stupid mistakes. But our defense was awful. Like, oh, my God. Bradbury dropping interception. Slay completely lost and found. You don't know where he, what he's doing and where he's at. Uh, and Blankenship absolutely cannot cover anybody. Huh? Huh? 
Blankenship can't cover me. Blankenship, yo, I bet you right now, I would put money on it that I'll line up on a one-on-one competition right now. I bet you if I line Dimitri up against Blankenship right now, Dimitri from the All-Star Touch Football League, Dimitri, Sean Oates, um, who else? Um, Maurice. Um, what's his name? Um, the dude oh, it's on Performance Lab now. Turk. Nick Garasso. They can beat Blankenship. I, I'll put money on it. I'll put money on it. They can beat, they can beat Blankenship. Blankenship can't cover nobody. I'm almost about to say that Blankenship can't cover, um... (laughs) I don't think Blankenship... I don't think... I don't think Blankenship can cover, uh... James. Good James Disley. I, I don't think Blankenship can cover him. And that's no diss. (laughs) <laughs> Frank <laughs> Stop Why'd you say Why'd you say that <laughs> Yo Blank and Chip can't Alright we get the picture Blank and Chip can't cover anybody all right, so I'm done with the Eagles. I just had to put my pro sports thoughts of the week. All right, so uh, here, let's go over the, uh, the scores real quick. Uh, and the results from week eight and, of the All-Star Touch Football League. Performance Lab beat the Clippers, Sharks 22-8. Sama Rufin beat the Sloth 27-6. The Brewers beat the Prospects Black 42-12. Main Event beat the Panthers 30-0. Usual suspects beat the Braves 13-7. Rock Bottom beat the Prospects Red 28-18. Okay. Thank you, Kim, for the weather. And, uh, all right. So let's applaud all those winning teams. <laughs> okay. Another thing. So when we, uh, talked about it from my last show it it created a lot of buzz a lot of buzz a lot of buzz in the league about the playoff format now i'm glad that everyone came to an agreement that top eight bottom four was just ridiculous it's just ridiculous i'm glad everybody realizes that and I'm glad everybody can come to terms to a different format for the playoffs, which we did. Let's applaud everybody in the league for coming to a, a, um, a mutual agreement of what the playoffs should be. And from, I'm not saying it's official, but from what I heard and from what I've seen from the group text, it's going to be the 444. Let's applaud the league. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Why well, do something that doesn't make sense just to appease a few? Let's let let's let's do what makes sense to the masses. The majority of the teams in the league, it just makes sense. So, it's going to be top 4 elite, middle 4, bottom 4 B. Okay. So, now, we can't sit here and act like things can't change. I'm not talking about the play ball format. What I'm talking about is the actual seedings at this point. 
Nothing set in stone. There's nothing set in stone. Things aren't locked in quite just yet. Things are not locked in quite yet. Now, some people haven't clinched the playoff spot at the top just yet. Now, I'm going to go and look and see where the standings are. Now, if I'm not bugging or, you know, seeing things or making stuff up in my head, that's not true. Now, we have trauma and first place, seven and one. I I would say their their top four spot has been clinched. The cops and robbers, aka the Brewers, they're seven and one. I would say their top four spot has been clinched. NJ Performance Lab are six and two. Uh I don't know if I can say that top spot, their, their top four ticket has been punched. Depends I can't who, say that. Depends on who they play. Well, we got to go into the schedule of who they play. Coming up, we know who they play. I don't know if Performance Lab's ticket is punched to the top four dance. I just don't. Now, Rock Bottom, I I think, I don't think Rock Bottom's top four punch ticket is punched either. But I think top, I think Rock Bottom, even though NJ Lab has a head-to-head over Rock Bottom, I feel like their ticket is punched bet more than Performance Lab. Really Before, that, yeah, so. yeah, because they the main event, the main event, if I'm not mistaken, the main event is five and three, sitting in the fifth seed. Rock Bottom has to head to head over the main event, right? And NJ Lab is playing the main event this week. Right. Say the main event makes has an upset and somehow beats. Performance Lab, Rock Bottom moves up to, and Rock Bottom wins their game. Rock Bottom moves up to three. Main Event moves up to four. And NJ Performance Lab drops down to five into the A playoffs. Wow. Wow. If that happens, if that happens... I would be shocked, first and foremost, I'm not going to lie. I would be shocked. Like, what? I, I almost wouldn't believe it. What kind of witchcrafted, what kind of witchcrafted, huh? Who put a, but it can happen. It can happen. So, then we have, the Crypto Sharks that are 4-4, I think their ticket is punched to the A, the middle, the middle playoffs. I think the Prospects Red have punched the ticket to the middle. Um, now, we got the usual suspects, the Sloth. They're at 89. I believe they're fighting for a... Um, I think the sloth are trying to, I think the usual suspects are trying to make it to the middle and the sloth are trying to stay in the middle. So there's, there's still some games to play for. There's still some games to play for. Now, if the Braves somehow beat the crypto sharks, like all I'm saying is tickets aren't punched for seating and things can change. Anything can change. 
So when we say the top four, middle four, and bottom four, we're not. I'm not saying that it's automatically the guys that are already sitting in those seats. Okay. I'm not saying it's the guys that are already sitting in those seats. You ever go to the movies or a concert or a show? Hey, man, you're sitting in my seat, dog. This is my ticket. My ticket says this is my seat. Okay? Hey, Performance Lab. You're sitting in the main event seat. Okay? You're sitting in the main event seat in the elite playoffs, buddy. Either you get up, either you get up and move on your own, or I'm going to have to move you. That's the same thing with the usual suspects. And the sloth, the usual, the sloth are sitting in somebody's seat. Hey, man, get out of my seat, bro. There's seats available. It depends on where you want to sit at in these playoffs. It depends on where you want to sit at. So... Do you want to sit in the front of the movies or the front? Or you want to play at the top? Or do you want to sit in the back? You want to sit in the back? All right, go ahead. Go sit back there, man. Ain't nobody worried about that. Go ahead. Have fun. Sit back there and watch the movie. You can barely see it. But if you want to sit a little closer, win those games. Win those games. Remove people from your seat. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe the main event actually plays Performance Lab this week. They can actually kick them out of their seat. What a win. What a huge win. Yo, Shane. They're in your seat, dog. Yo, Garasso. They want your seat, bro. They want your seat. Are you going to get up and give it to him? Or are you going to tell him, yo, mush him and tell him to go find another seat? Your seat's back there. He don't belong up here with us. Is that what's going on? Is that what, is that what the performance lab's going to do? Yo, bro, all right, this is your seat. He don't belong up here with us. Go sit back there. Kids are back there. Go sit back there. Huh? Is that what's going on? Is that what we're going to have? Or is the or is the main event going to be like, yo, you got my spot. Give me my seat. You're not moving? What? You're not moving? All right. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to get excited about these playoffs, man. Other than that, I mean... Wait, hold up. What else did I want to talk about? Oh. <laughs> did I tell the spider story? Oh, all right. I'll tell it. I don't care. Yo. No, I'm not telling the story. I'm not telling it. I'm not telling the story. <laughs> I'm not telling the story. I'm not going to tell that story. But. Oh. I wanted to get into our game, right? Um, let's applaud the usual suspects. They won. They beat the Braves. No, I need you. All right, so Sal refed our game, okay? Sal refed the game. And oh, uh, hold on. First, off, first off, shout out to Sal. Psych, Sal. Listen, bro. 
You got to call the game or call something. Don't just sit there and just be out there, bro. You got to call something. I don't care, like, how does everybody on the field see something but Sal just don't see it? How does Sal not see what everybody else sees but Sal just don't see it? How? I, I, I recorded the game, and I'm staring, and I seen. I saw that Sal saw it, but Sal still act like he didn't see it. Huh? Huh, Sal? What are you doing, Sal? What are we doing, Sal? You got to do a better job, Sal. It's ridiculous. At, the, at this point... At this point, it's like you're running our pockets, taking cheddar for doing absolutely nothing. Huh? Hmm? Your count is slow. You don't call anything. Literally nothing. How many flags? If we did a tally of how many flags each rep threw every every um, week, and actually chart, like charted it, and, and and let's start doing that. Let's start doing ref stats. Ref stats. Where the refs are actually, you know, got stats. Good stats and bad stats. If we were using the baseball method, Sal would be batting zero. Zero. Absolutely nothing. He hasn't got the ball out the infield. His stats are ridiculous. What do you think about Sal, Kim? Everybody knows Sal loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Hey, where's my Charlie I'm at? I'm waiting to tell you he's gone. He's not going to call. Like, what is he doing? Like, I don't understand it. Listen, I like Sal as a person. I do. I really do. I like Sal as a person. He he talks shit to me all the time. Every chance he gets. He won't take a... He won't miss a chance to talk shit to me. But, Sal, you got to you gotta call the game. You got... You gotta be a ref, dude. You have to be a ref. You have to throw flags. You have to throw flags. And if you don't throw flags, I don't even know why you're there. We can put anybody in a striped shirt. If they're just gonna just stand there and not and act like they're not. It just he yo, you can get anybody just to stand there and say one, two, three, what? one. No holding. You didn't see any holding. You didn't see any pass interference. You didn't see any offsides. You didn't see any uh sacks. What did you see? Huh? What did you see, Sal? Sal You gotta do a better job, dog. You do. You do. It's just ridiculous, man. <laughs> so you think South <laughs> think South lazy? <laughs> money making Sal? He's only out there for the money. <laughs> Money making Sal. <laughs> he, he does the least amount of every ref I've ever seen. Oh, his old partner. Um, and this is no laughing matter and shit. I heard he's sick, and that was my guy, man. Like so, yo, let's let's have actual prayers for my man Nick. Nick, I, I mean, I don't know if everybody liked him or not, but I loved him. Like, that's my guy. He made me laugh. He's a sweetheart to me. Like, he, he's a good guy. And uh, he's a part of this All-Star Touch Football League family and uh, brotherhood. 
uh, player, ref, team, you know, commissioners, you know, whatever. He's, I heard he's sick, and, um, you know, I just hope people keep uh, Nick in their prayers, and um, hopefully things, you know, I don't know, I don't know his status or not, but the last I heard, he was uh, uh, pretty sick, and hopefully things uh, turn around for him. So, you know, everybody keep uh, Nick in their, in their prayers. Um, yeah. That, that's my guy. He makes me laugh. He was my, one of my favorite, favorite refs, favorite refs. Um, but he was Sal's partner and, you know, he used to keep it real with Sal. Like, Sal, you don't do nothing, dude. You're just, <laughs> Sal, you're just here. You're just here patting pockets, taking cheddar. Um, but you know, everyone everyone has their preferences, you know. I've heard other people say that they don't like um other refs. But I like that ref. Like so it is, you know, everyone has their preference. Um it is what it is. I think I think the main thing is I think people want them even if they're wrong, I think people will respect a wrong call than no call. I think People are angry because sometimes they don't call nothing. Now, I think they, they've done a little bit better this season. Yeah. I think there's actually been flags. So I really can't I, – I don't think they're – if I'm grading them for, um, like, on their job of this season as a whole, I would say I would give them a C. And previous years, it was an F as a as a staff, record label, and, uh, and crew, all of them. As a group, I would have given them an F. Last, like, previous seasons. But this season, I would say I give them a C plus, B minus, because I feel like they're way more active. Now, they're not like the NFL refs trying to dictate games. NFL refs are way out of control stealing people's money stealing freaking teams records getting coaches fired reps i've seen the most horrific calls this season than i've ever seen actually i can't even say that that's like it's always some crazy some crazy stuff in the nfl nfl is almost almost borderline fake because a ref can throw a flag any chance they get on every play and say something happened. Whoever they want to win or whoever they want to stay in the game. They do it all the time. They did it in the Super Bowl. But it is what it is. Uh, All right, let me see what the games are uh, this week. Uh, (sighs) Huh. What are the games this week? Uh, all right, can you say them? 830 is Trauma Roofing versus uh, Usual Suspects. Braves versus Crypto Sharks. Prospects Red versus Prospects Black. 930 is Main Event versus Performance Labs. Rock Bottom versus The Sloth. And the Panthers versus The Brewers. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We got some some good some good games. Um I just think the tickets aren't stamped and those and those situations were on the 444. So, don't take for granted. Don't think that you're already there. Don't think that seat belongs to you. You got to still earn your seat. There's two games left. So, don't lose your seat at the last minute. Don't lose your seat at the last minute and end up sitting in the back of the bus. Don't sit in the back of the bus. So, um, that's all I got for today. Um, God bless uh, Nick and his family, and um, hopefully everything turns out well for him. But um, God bless everybody. Uh, Happy Halloween. Happy Mischief Night. Merry Christmas. People don't even celebrate Mischief Night anymore, I don't think. Happy New Year's. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, all right, I ain't got nothing else. Thank you.
for listening. Peace. Committed, compassionate, complete. It's what sets Cooper University Healthcare apart. The leading academic health system in the region with advanced cancer care at MD Anderson Cancer Center at Cooper. Our physicians are leaders in their field with nearly 2 million patient visits a year. And we're training the next generation of medical professionals at Cooper Medical School of Rowan University. Committed, compassionate, complete. That's Cooper University Healthcare. Committed, compassionate, complete. It's what sets Cooper University Healthcare apart. The leading academic health system in the region with advanced cancer care at MD Anderson Cancer Center at Cooper. Our physicians are leaders in their field with nearly 2 million patient visits a year. And we're training the next generation of medical professionals at Cooper Medical School of Rowan University. Committed, compassionate, complete. That's Cooper University Healthcare.